We are pleased to be joined by Chuck Esposito, Sunset Station Casino Sportsbook Director, here to talk a little NFL betting. Despite leading the AFC West and sitting at 4-1 this season, where is the confidence on the Raiders to make them home dogs versus the Chiefs, Chuck? You know, they opened up as the home favorite against the Chiefs. I think it's a couple of reasons. I think they really struggled with the Chiefs last year in two games. We know how good Andy Reid is coming out of the bye. Um, you look at the Chiefs who were humiliated by the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers before they went into their bye. And Andy Reid, anytime he's he's coached a team that has given up 38 points or more, he is 6-1 and one coming back the following week in those games. So I think it's a number of factors. The Raiders still are a really good team. They've been really impressive on the road, winning three games on the road. They're 1-1 one and one at home, haven't been nearly as impressive, but I think the facts that I mentioned earlier is the reason that the Chiefs are a small home favorite as we speak. That should be a good game. Meanwhile, Colin Kaepernick making his first start of the season at quarterback back for the San Francisco 49ers. Right now, they are nearly a 10-point underdog at Buffalo. How much of that is the win streak the Bills have been on, or is that a lack of confidence in Cap at quarterback? I think it's a combination of, uh, of all factors. I think, one, you look at Buffalo and how well they've played. They've got huge wins against Arizona and New England. They travel across country and beat the Rams. Now they're back home. They're 3-2. and two. At 0-2, oh I thought they were one of those teams that their season was shot. And you look at San Francisco. They have a lot of injuries on defense. They make the quarterback change. Uh, Cap doesn't have a lot of playing time so far this season. And they're now traveling across country for one of those breakfast games uh, that's kicking off at 10 o'clock uh, you know, Eastern time. So they're 10 o'clock our time so a little bit strange for uh, for the 49ers and I think it's just again how well the Bills have played over the last three weeks. Certainly it will be interesting to see how well Kaepernick plays in his first start. Meanwhile we've seen a big swing in the Eagles Redskins game now the Eagles are a three-point road favorite why is the line swung like that? You know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I'm kind of shocked at it. We opened up Washington, a one-and-a-half-point favorite. And you think about Washington, who's won three straight games. Them, like the Bills, were 0-2. Um, I liked Washington in this game when we first put the lineup. Philly was playing back-to-back -back road games. Went the first time he's had to play back-to-back -back road games. He turned the ball over against Detroit last week. Looked a little bit more like a rookie. But I'm really surprised. The only factor for me is that when Reed isn't in the lineup for Washington, Cousins is 14, uh, 14 touchdown pass and 13 interceptions. When he's in the lineup, he's 27 touchdowns and six INTs. So much different when they have Jordan Reed at tight end. Looks like he's going to miss this game, but I'm still surprised that the Eagles went all the way to a key number of field goal favorite. NFC East division rivals always a lot on the line when teams face off in division games. Great insight as always, Chuck. Thanks for being with us here on 120 Sports. Thanks, Clement. Enjoy all the games this weekend.